and I like things to have a little bit of color so I'm put, choosing this coral cream is up everyone welcome back to my channel road to phd my name is kimberly i major in nutrition and minor in chemistry and i plan on getting my phd so come on this journey with me this channel aims to inspire and encourage black women in stem from high school to college all the way to grad school if you're new to my channel please make sure that you subscribe for more videos like this one and while you're there might as well give it a like in today's video i'll be doing a voiceover and as you can see, I'll be showing you how to organize your summer research internship applications using Google Sheets. Now, if you feel more comfortable using Microsoft Excel, feel free to do that as well. So here you can see I am making a table. I'm using the borders feature. Now, I will not be using every column here and row, but I just wanted to let you know. So in the titles for the rows going across, we're going to say program application portal the deadline the numbers of the letters of recommendations that are required some programs require one some programs require two if you want to know how to get amazing recs check out the video linked here in the summer research internship application series playlist here, we're going to talk about the status of the letters of recommendation. Now, not every rec will be ready right away, and so it is important to keep track of them. And I'm going to fill this out and show you as well. So here you're going to see I put username and password because some applications require a portal um, and that for you to make the username and password to log in. And so here I'm also putting the admission decision. If you want, you can put this at the end. To be honest, I'm not sure why I put it here, but it is already done. And so I'm also going to put the city and the state to track the location. And I, because it is currently 2020, I also wrote if it's virtual, virtual or not. So as an example, as you might know, I'm, all, I'm a Karstam scholar at Howard University. So I'm using that program as an example. And here I use the text wrap feature. I will be showing it to you more in detail in a couple more um, minutes. So here you have the website is the application portal. Sometimes they have a true portal. Sometimes they use Google Form. Um, it really doesn't matter as long as you have the link. So here with the deadline, it's usually somewhere January, February. Rarely is something due in March. And as you can see here, for the letters of recommendation, I am going to put two. It's usually two. Usually they want one professor or one person who has also um, you've conducted research under. So like a principal investigator or PI. So here you can see I want it in the middle. So I'm clicking on where I want it aligned and I'm going to put middle as well. I just think it looks better. Sometimes, as you can see, one's at the bottom. If you look at deadlines at the bottom, letters of rec is at the top, but it's okay. So here for the status of letters of rec, I'm putting requested or completed. And you can add more columns here and make it better if you want more in depth. So here I'm highlighting everything and making it sit in the middle. It's a cool tool I've noticed and use often and now making everything sit in the middle and I'm using the text wrap feature. The text wrap feature makes sure that anything you're writing on a separate line continues into like a, um, into a second line. And so it doesn't keep going extendedly all the way across. And I never used to know how to fix that, but now I know it's the text wrap feature. So as you can see, I put some username and passwords. Those are my social media handles. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, and Twitter at Kim underscore road to PhD. For the admission decision, I'm putting rejected or accepted or canceled. You can put that at the end, as I mentioned before. And I believe that DC should be the 51st state of the United um, States of America. It is unfair that they don't get voting privileges, so make DC a state. 
and I wrote something about a contingency program. So here you can see I'm just listing other programs here. They're not real. And I like things to have a little bit of color. So I'm put, choosing this coral cream. And I like color coding applications, especially graduate school applications. Let me know in the video if you'd like me to make a video about how I make my graduate school applications list. It is very detailed. Just let me know. It's nothing like this one. And so here you have top choices in yellow, all right choices in blue, and indifferent choices in brown. I understand that sometimes we have like a number one choice and the rest is just like, we'll be grateful to get into it. Thank you so much for watching PhD Roadies and I will see you on the road. Bye!